And now the nominees for Best Animated Short. Hello. Saw you looking. Yeah, it is me. In The Simpsons, I will be playing the part of me. It's a challenging role. I know this because I have to do it every morning. I get up, I read the script that I've been offered for that day. It's always me. It's great to be here with all the old friends I haven't seen since rehab. No, no, I'm just kidding. None of you are my friends. I'm playing myself, a twisted version of myself. Um, uh, quite an annoying, quite an annoying, smug version of myself. What? Glad I bumped into you, actually, because uh, I'm looking to expand beyond comedy. Well, the first time I did The Simpsons, um, I actually sort of uh, wrote um, the episode and starred in it all the way through, so this is uh, just a little cameo. <laughs> but now he's moving me as well. I'm going to have to put him in my new film. <laughs> what do you think? I'm a seat filler. TV usually puts pounds on you, but not in The Simpsons. I think they flatter everyone, which is great. I'm going to be too thin, and that's never been said about me. I think I will look better as an animated character. I've always found uh, three dimensions difficult to inhabit. Two is enough. Why try and occupy three dimensions? People say, oh, you're two-dimensional. I get accused of that anyway. So to be rendered in Simpsons yellow, for me, will be a relief. I've never been a nerd about anything. You know, I didn't collect stamps. I didn't quote Monty Python going to school. The only thing I've ever been nerdy about is The Simpsons. I'm a massive fan of The Simpsons. I've been watching it for years and years and years.